Hey everyone, the artificial trainer here. Welcome in, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to talk Juan FLF2V or Juan first last frame to video. Between this and Vase, they're the two top keyframe animation models right now. Vase is a bit more flexible, but Juan FLF2V may be slightly better quality. Both can use the cause of Laura, so we're gonna go through FLF2V today and We'll check it out. All right, so I'm gonna use Artificial Studio, which is a tool I have in beta right now. If you want access, let me know on Discord or on Patreon, I'll give you access. It essentially lets you use my Comf UI environment, so you never have to worry about keeping models up to date, keeping nodes up to date. This manages all of that for you, and if you're interested in LoRa training, it also has a few LoRa tools built right in. So I think it's a really useful tool. Other people in the community have used it, and they're, they've been enjoying it. So let me know if you want to use that. I'll add you to the beta. If you haven't subscribed already and you like my content, please do so. It helps the channel a lot and it helps me get more content out to all of you and allows me to help you all more. All right, so if you don't want to use Artificial Studio, head to the Patreon and you can find the model links here. So if you click on the .sh file and you copy paste this whole thing into ChatGPT and then ask it to tell you where to install the URLs and what to name them, it'll do that for you. And I think it's just easier than me giving you a link and saying, download these six files. This tells you exactly which files you're downloading, exactly what to name them and, and exactly where to put them. And then the two workflows for both the wrapper and native are in here as well. So the next step is to open Comfy UI. If you're on local, you can do it however you typically open Comfy UI. If you're using Artificial Studio, go to the app links and click on Comfy UI. All right, I'm using a default workflow for this one, so that's why you get this pop-up. But you can just click don't show this again and it won't show up again. All right, so I have these images of this man with an empty hand and a bird in his hand. I'm gonna have the bird fly into his hand. For the models, we wanna load the FLF to V model here. FLF. So I'm only using the FP16 version. If, you, if this is too heavy and you're running out of VRAM, you can quantize it using FP8. Make sure you're using the native UMT5 clip if you are if you also have installed the wrapper, the native and wrapper UMT5 files are different. So make sure that you select the right one. If you're getting an issue at this node, that is likely the issue. And then for the VAE, same thing. The wrapper and native VAEs are different. So make sure you select the correct one. And then for the clip vision, same thing. Make sure you're selecting the native clip vision. All right. And then we are going to use the Cosvid LoRa. This does just, the Cosvid LoRa just works with one first frame, last frame, which is awesome. I wasn't sure if it would, so I was really excited when it did. This takes what is usually like an eight minute generation without Cosvid down to just about a minute. So really, really awesome that that works just out of the box. All right, and then in our one first frame, first last frame to video, just adjust your length this is your number of frames so i'm going to do 61 you can do up to 81 frames and then in our case sampler my cfg is one because i'm using the cosvid laura if you don't want to use the cosvid laura your cfg should be around four or five and then sampler i think the best option right now is uni pc and simple so that's what i'm going to go with all right so let's run it oh and i forgot to mention that i did adjust the prompt to have a bird flying onto the man's hand. All right, so really cool generation. The bird's movements are very realistic and it keeps the likeness of everything really well. It even moves the hand slightly when the bird jumps onto it, so really cool. And this, this node does take a while to load, so you can bypass this. It's not really necessary. I just think it's cool to have like the comparison all in one. So that is it for the native. Let's check out the wrapper version now. So either head to the Patreon and grab the wrapper version, or if you're using Artificial Studio, just search for FLF2V, and then you'll find the wrapper version. All right, so for this one, I have this purple superhero, and I'm just gonna have her hold her hand out. So a purple superhero holds her hand out. And let's talk real quick about 
the models. So for the 14B model, where we're using the 14B Cosvid Laura. If you don't have Sage Attention working, make sure you choose SDPA for the attention mode. Otherwise, Sage Attention is going to be faster. For blocks to swap, I'm going to swap 20. The 14B is pretty heavy. So if you need to use all your quantizations, I just recently released a WAN optimizations video. So go, go over and watch that if you need some help on how to get this to run on low VRAM machines. Make sure you bypass Torch Compile if you don't have Triton working. Add the correct VAE in. So remember this needs to be the wrapper version of the VAE. The native and the wrapper VAEs are different. And then for your clip, make sure you select the native clip. I'm using the, the text bridge so that I don't have to download the wrapper clip. Okay, and then I'm going to do 1280 by 720, just like we did in the last video, which is why I have these imagery sizes at 1280 by 720. And then to increase or decrease the number of frames, use the one video image to video encode node, adjust the number of frames here, and then that should be it. We should be good. So the only other thing to mention, just remember to flip the height and width if you have portrait versus landscape images. All right, so I'm going to run this. It should only take about two minutes and we'll see what we get. So this error comes up every so often and I've narrowed down what the what causes it. So if you see this invalid argument error, head over to the block swapping and turn off use non blocking. Usually you'll see all three of these checked when you see that error error. All right. And here is the generation. I mean, really, really great quality. Let me pull this up. Just great quality, super smooth movement. This is a, a really, really cool model. I like it a lot. All right, so that is it for this video today. I hope you learned a lot. If you have any questions or have any trouble getting anything running, you can leave a comment down below. You can head to the Discord. I prefer to answer highly technical questions in the discord just because we can share pictures back and forth and it just makes it a lot easier to tell what's going on if you just send me an error in the comments it's going to be difficult for me to troubleshoot if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please subscribe it really helps out the channel helps me create more content i created a discord channel exclusively for patreon tier members so if you want priority help and coaching from me Head over to my Patreon, subscribe to that tier, and I'll add you to that Discord channel. I always answer all the questions in that Discord channel first. Follow me on my other socials. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll talk to you in the next one.